I have a Lenovo Yoga laptop slash tablet. It's one of those that the keyboard can fold back. And so you can use it kind of like a really heavy, awkward tablet. Or you can fold it back in tent mode, which is what I have it here. So the keyboard's actually behind it, and it just kind of sits up as a little display. So I wasn't using it, and I thought, you know, I'd like to have a little something sitting by the television that just kind of would let you show news or graphics or anything like that. And of course, being a Star Trek fan, I decided I wanted to look uh, something like this. And this is all done in HTML with some JavaScript. Uh, there were a couple of things that turned out to be very strange, like trying to launch local programs from JavaScript. They've made that very difficult. Uh, there was a time when that wasn't that hard. And also loading certain sites inside web frames to make all this work. So all this is just kind of display, but you can see, like if I want to look at the CNN news, And if I decide I would like it a little wider, I can do that. Uh, or if I want Google, which is notoriously hard to get into a frame, I can ask Alexa, tell me a joke. Why was the cat so good at baseball? He always pitched a perfect game. Hmm. Not sure I get that one. Uh, I can look at Hackaday, which I write for, so I like to kind of keep a track on that. I can load up Google Play Music. Or Netflix. And of course, if you're Loading up Netflix, you could certainly play Star Trek inside the interface. Captain's log, Stardate 46357.4. We have rendezvoused with the starship Cairo near the Cardassian border. I think that's a keeper. Let's see, if you want to go home again, or if you're tired of looking at a particular picture, you can randomly cycle through, and you've probably noticed it randomly cycles through anyway. Uh, there's a few LCARS web apps out. This one's pretty neat. It's a working calculator. I don't like the fact that it says make-believe computer display up at the top, so I'll have to eventually figure out how to port it over. Uh, a couple other websites. The APOD website here is pretty cool because that just randomly cycles through astronomy pictures from NASA. And so that's kind of keeps with the theme. Um, and we can also do a Star Trek slideshow off of the slideshow website, which I think pulls off of like Pinterest or something. Of course, some of those pictures are kind of wacky, so that's not always as nice as some of the other ones. Uh, and we can even do Google Hangouts, different websites, and You'll notice there's a clock up at the left top. And I also kind of made a modification to Cartana. There's been a lot of little changes here to make all this work well, where I can say, computer. And of course, now it's not going to work. Computer. Tell me a joke. What do you call a dog who can do magic? A labracadabrador. Yeah, all the virtual assistants probably need a little help with their jokes. Um, and of course, I've just messed up by accidentally touching the wrong part of the screen there. And that's one problem I've had with this, by the way, is that over a long period of time, the Windows 10 start menu just appears to pop up on its own. Uh, so far, so good. I may have fixed it. I took off all the live tiles and did a couple other things, but it seems like every time I think I've fixed it, I come back in and the start menu has showed up. So not sure what to really do about that. And uh, anyway, so of course you can modify all this in the HTML page. I need to work on the color scheme a little bit. Uh, this was actually an LCARS template that I pulled off of GitHub. Uh, the JavaScript stuff, especially the things for running a piece of software 
um, either a Metro app or a regular app that turned out to be really, really tricky. And I wrote some custom bash scripting under Sigwin to do that along with uh, just modifications to the registry. The Cortana rename came from uh, SourceForge. And so there's a little program that basically sits listening for any phrase that you want. And my phrase happens to be computer. What's the temperature? Right now, it's 55 and sunny. And it's kind of disappointing. There's not a good way to close Cortana that I've found other than just to shut it down by touching it. So it kind of ruins the... It's too bad you can't get it to come up in the background, for example, or close itself after it was done. Uh, something like that. So, any event, kind of neat. Uh, I'd share the files if anybody's interested, although, like I say, it's lots of little bits to set up. And, of course, once you've got it set up, though, it's real easy to go change the size of the buttons and the what's on the buttons and what they do and all that sort of stuff. But getting the setup initially is, is pretty hard. So, anyway, just something I thought I'd show off. I was uh, pretty pleased with how it came out.